Hello, it's me, Eli, the creator of Scattered Nexus. Make another video to talk about some of these cool comics that are being featured in the game. So this time we're gonna be going over, next in a row, uh, Dauntless. This is a video I'm just gonna be going over how some of the factions work, how the cards work. I'm gonna make a separate video talking about the comic itself. Um, so I'm gonna try to stay on topic. So uh, this is Dauntless. It's a superhero action type comic. A uh, story by Brian Stewart and art by Dino Agor, published in 2016. And its trait, it used the shield trait. So in case you don't know, um, this particular trait says that uh, when this character, uh, when a character with this trait would be damaged, discard this trait and prevent that damage instead. So this one, this comic is a hero action, which means it's about preventing damage and then dealing damage. Um, the heroes are all about preventing and then action is all about dealing. The protagonist of the story is uh, Liberty the Resilient. She's a, a super and strong. Um, her power is that she has five impact. That's uh, pretty high. Um, usually in this game, you can get uh, one to three pretty easy. Sometimes you'll see a four, but five is exceptionally rare, exceptionally rare. Next, we have uh, Vapor Resourceful. Uh, he's super and smart, uh, has a weakened ability. So it means that if it's in the full zone, uh, you can send it to the back zone to use its ability. Uh, so it can damage itself. Um, weakened, search your discard pile for an event card, reveal it and add it to your hand. Uh, pretty straightforward, just a good way to get some things back. This one is a uh, mystery type and has one impact. Um, then we have a uh, feedback counter. Uh, he's two impact and add sci-fi. He's super and fists. Uh, we can prevent a uh, character from being damaged this turn or damage target character. So he just gets to choose. He can save someone or hurt someone. Um, uh, we have obsidian, the ether, adds tragedy, three impact, pretty good. Uh, when played, erase the top two cards of your discard pile damage target character in play. So if it comes in, you have to erase some things for the cost, and then he damages a character. Pretty, pretty, pretty easy. And then we have Phase the Adaptive. He has two asterisks. That asterisk sign just means that uh, it has an ability that will modify that. So it's just, it uh, it has the potential to change. This one has Weaken. This character has plus four impact this turn. Uh, pretty simple. It's a nice uh, Hulk-like ability. Uh, pretty straightforward. Um, also, you'll notice usually in Scattered Nexus, uh, when you have a faction, there will usually be five characters. Usually two of them will be vanilla with no ability, and then three of them will have an ability. But that's um, when you go into heroes, they tend to have a few more abilities. That's just something I keep an eye out for. Um, and then we have the events. I said two copies of two different events. And I already told you what the trait does. So let's go into uh, Wall of Defense. It's an event, uh, attack phase. Target unblocked character does no damage this turn. Then damage that character. Um, so pretty much if you're being attacked, you can use this card. So you, you're attacked, you say, hey, I'm not gonna block that guy. Then you can use this card. That guy doesn't do any damage and you get to damage it. Um, so just a timing thing, uh, particularly during the attack phase. I guess you could use it on your own characters. I just don't know why you ever would. And then last we have um, explosive power. Uh, prevent the next time target character would be damaged this turn. That character has plus two impact this turn. So um, this is just good uh, when, just a good prevent thing. So when you're either attacking and then they block, or if they say they didn't block, you're about to damage your opponent with, you know, uh, three or whatever. You're attacking with this guy uh, and they're about to take three damage. You can use this card to just pump it up by two, making it a five, which is just good eats. Um, also can be used defensively. If someone's attacking you, you can block with a weaker guy and then give explosive power to give your guy a, bo a boost so that he can maybe win the fight. Uh, so yeah, those are the two events. And then lastly, we go to the location, and this one, City Block. When a player takes damage, you may discard an action character from your hand to prevent two damage. So usually in the game, uh, if you're taking damage, you can discard a card as a cost for, for that one damage. This one makes it so that action type characters in your hand are worth two. So you just have more defense pretty much. And that's uh, the whole faction, that's Dauntless. Let me see, um, that's it. Just a lot of weakened abilities, just some natural synergies with heroes because heroes usually have weakened abilities. Pairing them with a romance faction is usually really a good idea because romance is good at healing characters, allowing you to use weakened abilities multiple times. Um, 
because usually when a card character becomes weakened, there's no way to get it back up. Um, but Romance is one of the few factions that does do that. Uh, let's see. So yeah, that's a nice tip. Also, uh, I will say, heroes, um, they, although they're, they're a lot of fun, they have a lot of abilities, you do have to get your timing right. Um, understanding how the events work is a, a key part of being really good with a hero deck. Um, I'd say uh, players that are brand new to the game might have a little trouble with it. If you've played any other trading card game, I'm, I'm sure you'll be fine, but if you're just hopping in for the first time into this game, how timing works on things like this, I've seen people have a little struggle with it. Um, favorite card in this set is, I, I still think it's uh, Liberty the Resilient. She's just simple, just a five impact thing. Uh, what else do you need? Uh, <laughs> but that's it. Um, yeah, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to get on to working on the next one. Uh, but yeah, hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments and I'll try to address them. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later.